I first came across Resourceless when the University of Birmingham adopted them uh, on a wider scale for the way that it was going to work on reading lists for our students. Um, so it seemed like a really good opportunity to go ahead and get our reading list linked up to the university catalogue and then to carry that over into the classroom and the online classroom where students can go so that they can not just get the titles of the readings they need but go straight to where they are in the library catalogue. We had some training from members of our library services and they helped explain to us how the resource list worked and the benefits for students and academics. I think the thing that's really beneficial is the way that it integrates directly into our own library catalogue. It also has become the way that we register our reading list with the library, which is really handy because we used to have to do that as a separate system with a Word document and constantly having to go back through and update it. Um, now it's really easy to see, it's easy to take things off and put them back on. At the Shakespeare Institute we actually do a lot of distance learning teaching. Um, we have students who are on site in Stratford, but then we have students spread all around the world. Um, so we're constantly referring to them to our e-library and the resource list is really useful in that we can link those two things straight together and also we can make sure that when we're able we're digitizing as many readings as possible. For me what I think is really useful is to use resource lists alongside discussion in class about further research tools that they can use to find additional readings and I do use that further reading in my resource list section to guide them to some key works um, but then also it's just making sure they're constantly going into the library catalogue because the wider catalogue is where they need to go to search for the topics that interest them for their own research. There's some weeks where they have uh, videos or films that they're asked to watch so in that case with this week they're looking at Akira Kurosawa's Throne of Blood, which is his version of Macbeth. And if we go to their resource list for that, with the film, again, it'll link into the library catalog and show them the call number and whether or not it's available to check out. So here it is at the Shakespeare Library, three copies available. Um, and also, in some cases, like this one, we have uh, an e-resource that we subscribe to called Box of Broadcasts where they can log into that and be taken in to find the film there. Probably the most useful thing is the ability to request and upload digitization. So whether that's you telling your library that I would like this chapter digitized for students and then they do the copyright checks and upload it and make it available. Or if at your university it's you doing the scan and putting it up there but them checking it. It's just really handy that that process is there in one place. We used to have to send several emails between many different people. Um, so it just makes the whole process more efficient, I think. It does the same thing as what I was doing before, just better. So it hasn't changed the content that I'm teaching students. I've really let um, my own design of the course drive that. But once I've made those decisions about what students should be reading, it makes the content a lot more accessible to them.